All right, guys. So you already have Democratic governors vying to be relevant for the 2028 election. Look at this. This is in Politico. We won't sit idle. Gavin Newsom goes on offense against Trump. Uh, California Governor Newsom is calling a special legislative session to get more funding to fight President-elect Donald Trump. Uh, California Governor Gavin Newsom is calling a special session of the legislature to shore up the state's legal defenses against President-elect Trump. He announced Thursday, Newsom said Trump's, ca Trump's campaign statements and first-term policies on abortion, electric vehicles, immigration, and disaster aid warranted immediate legislative powers ahead of lawmakers. Uh, ahead of lawmakers plan to return to Sacramento. The freedoms we hold dear in California are under attack and we won't sit idle. Newsom said in a statement announcing the special session, which will start in Sacramento on December 2nd, California served as a stronghold of the resistance to Trump during his first term, filing more than 120 lawsuits challenging the Trump administration over its actions on air pollution, immigration, gun control, health care, union dues, and other areas. The proclamation from Newsom, an eager surrogate for President Joe Biden and then Vice President Kamala Harris, who was himself considered a likely contender after Biden dropped out of the race, signals the state is ready to step into that role again. Basically, what he wants to do is uh, bolster up California's defenses, wage more lawsuits, perhaps give himself more power. Um, and make no mistake about it, guys, him doing this is his attempt at uh, trying to position himself to be a front runner for 2028. Because he, he realizes, hey, I'm going to lead the resistance. We need somebody to lead the resistance. I might as well do it. I might as well get the headlines. I might as well get the adoration. They say the proclamation targets Trump's dismantling of clean vehicle rules, his repeal of deferred action for childhood arrivals, that's DACA, and his withholding of disaster aid. Trump threatened to withhold disaster aid uh, to California because he doesn't like their politics. It also references potential restrictions on abortion medication and cast a net beyond Trump's statement to include statements and policy papers issued by individuals close to the campaign and by Republican congressional leadership. So in other words, Trump's going to try to dismantle the clean vehicle rules. They want to redouble the efforts to have those clean vehicle rules. Uh, they want to protect immigrants and they want to, uh, you know, make sure they can prevent him from withholding disaster aid. What's interesting here is this is kind of like a reversal of what the ideologies are supposed to be. Usually Democrats are the ones who are for uh, the federal government overriding the state governments. This is Gavin Newsom saying, no, we need to be we need to be all about states' rights for uh, this next four years because he's going to do everything he can in his power uh, to try to basically superimpose his MAGA agenda on our state. And we don't want it in our state, so we're going to fight back against it. So that's what he's doing. Uh, another one who's doing something similar is uh, J.B. Pritzker in the state of Illinois. He's kind of doing the same thing. He's kind of knuckling up. He's getting ready for lawsuits. He's getting ready to sort of redouble his efforts to re resist the MAGA agenda. And um, make no mistake about it, this is all posturing for 2028. And, I mean, look, fact of the matter is very simple. Virtually any Democrat is going to be better than Trump would be in office. There's no more debate about that. The guy's a fucking psychopath. His record was disastrous. He tried to overturn the election. We don't need to go through the whole laundry list. But as I said to you guys a million times, and I'll say a million more, um, it is going to be difficult in this really angry populist era for any regular old Democrat to break through. It really is. And Gavin Newsom is a really, really good debater, but he also is a slimy politician and he oozes professionalism. And um, the whole slimy politician thing and oozing professionalism, I don't know, man. I don't think it lands. I think you need a controversial, charismatic celebrity and somebody who's representing Bernie Sanders' agenda in order to fight back against the ride, the rise of the far right. Um, and get, is Gavin Newsom that person? I don't know. It's hard to imagine a Gavin Newsom or a Pete Buttigieg or a J.B. Pritzker winning uh, in the era of Donald Trump. It's possible that after four years, everybody's so disgusted by everything Trump does that they're like, whatever, any Democrat will do. Um, but certainly the, the real lesson of this is you need to have somebody who represents a counter ideological narrative, a counter philosophy, a left wing philosophy. It needs to be a revolutionary left wing philosophy and it needs to be tied to what our modern civilization and society is like. Our, we have a nanosecond attention span now. Social media has destroyed our brains. We're obsessed with entertainment. And so the fact that the cameras were always on Trump was a massive benefit to him. And that's why I think somebody like Jon Stewart is perfect to run because he's a controversial, charismatic celebrity. Uh, he's funny. The cameras won't be able to stay off him. And he'll say interesting things that maybe cross the line, but also really get a groundswell of support for him. And that's more the direction to go, you know, 
we know what Newsom's thinking. We know what Pritzker's thinking. Probably Pete Buttigieg is thinking the same thing, but he's not a governor, so he can't necessarily do these things. But um, it, it, is it going to be enough? I don't know. I think people are so sick of the same old, same old. They literally just voted for a fascist over a corporate centrist. So um, you got to come correct in the opposite direction. But hey, at least he's uh, going to stand up to some of the excesses of Trump because that, without a doubt, that is necessary because now this is Trump unchained. And as I've told you guys a million times, and I'll tell you a million more, it's going to get ugly. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.